the description of the universe in quantum mechanics is a probabilistic one. The fundamental laws do not tell you the history of the universe. They tell you probabilities for an infinite set of alternative histories of the universe. And uh, what we see about us is the result not only of the fundamental law, but of all those many throws of the quantum dice that determine the specific features of the universe. So, whereas, for instance, the statistical distribution of the shapes of all the galaxies in the universe is probably determined by the fundamental laws, the shape of our own galaxy, the specific shape of a particular galaxy, is probably also the result of a lot of accidents. And the same is true of this particular star, like the Sun and a particular planetary system, like the system of planets around the Sun. A particular planet, like the Earth, is the product not only of the fundamental law, but also of an innumerable uh, set of, a uh, very large set of uh, accidents. Uh, the same applies to the evolution of life on the Earth, which uh, contains many, many features that are attributable to accidents that are, in principle, unpredictable. The same with particular forms of life, and the same with particular individuals. For example, every human individual is the result not only of fundamental laws, but also of a huge chain of completely unpredictable accidents. So that um, the rich fabric of the universe as we see it around us is co-determined by the fundamental law and this long sequence of accidents. And to understand how that appears, we have to understand a whole different part of science, which is uh, how a uh, system uh, that learns or adapts or evolves uh, can exist in the universe, and how it processes information so as to make some sort of picture of the universe. And we human beings, of course, are among those complex adaptive systems. Life as a whole can be thought of as a complex adaptive system. Uh, parts of living creatures, like the immune system, can be considered to be complex adaptive systems. Uh, the brain or the mind, which is the manifestation of the brain, can, can be thought of also as a complex adaptive systems. Uh, computers that are programmed to invent strategies can also be thought of as complex adaptive systems. And all of these that process information in, in particular ways that are, uh, seem to have a lot in common. I'm thinking a lot about that these days.